Hello, good morning. Today we're going to show how to make a working drawing um, that has both uh, shaded isometric and orthographic with the front um, front and top side. Okay, so to do this, let's say I'm going to do Pac-Man some different parts. So to make that, I just hit on the plus sign down here and it says make, create a drawing. That's what I do. Create a drawing. And then I uh, do it at the time. And let's say do okay. And then down here, a new tab opens up called drawing one. This is my drawing. So, the first box will come up, it'll say which of those shapes do you want to make? Call it background. Let's say the background. And then the background. And the first view you're going to bring in is this front view. Um, so, we're going to put your front view right there, the bottom left corner. And you click on the mouse and you can Okay. And then you can hit escape. Turn the tool off. There's your front view, your first view. So that's kind of like you inserted the view. Then next to the insert view is projected view. So I click on that tool, and from this front view, I can get all the views. I can kind of slide here, here's my front view, and go get the top view. And I click, it's my top view. Then I can project again, click on it again, and I can get the side view. Okay. I can still see I'm on. So I got this on my project this view, so I click. And that's what I do. And that's what I do. Different view. Project. Okay. So I'm going to hit escape and turn that project tool, tool off. Or I can click on the project tool again and turn it off. The next move is this. The isometric view. Um, these are the orthographic. This is the isometric. So you orthographic, the front, top, and the side, you always leave shaded like this. Or they, you leave them unshaded. Isometric should be shaded. So to shade it, you hover over it, right click on it, and you can say show shaded view. You can do that, and it shades it for you. And there you go. That's good. That's good. Um, the next move is on, uh, you want to show some dimensions. So on these orthographic ones, you want to show dimensions. You never ever dimension this, so just be aware of that. Um, so if I want to put some dimensions on here, I click on my dimension tool, and I pull out some things, click on that, get the length, and I'm going to the height, and I'm going to click on key features, and then like how big is that hole, and I'm going to go down like how big is this circle, and then get some dimensions on here. If I want to between like this line and this line, I actually click on this one, then I click on this one, and then click on um, so go ahead and put some key features on there. Try to get like length, width, and height. Um, you know, see if the dimension is crazy, but we're looking to see if we can get the key features. Okay, so that's your dimension. Um, another thing you can do is annotate. So like, if you want to be real clear, which is always a good thing to do when you're designing things. You know, if this ultimately someone else is going to look at this document, uh, if you want to be real clear about like, what you do what. And if you go in and do this A, this is like your annotate tool. You put in notes here, and you're going to make a note. Um, I like to have bold right away. And you can say top view. <coughs> and say check. And so that's the top view. And you can do it again. And so this is the front view. And I'm bold again. This is the isometric view. This is how you put information. So you can do that. I put a title up here, you can do that as well. But that's how you add annotations. Okay, now, the other thing you can do, this down here, if you zoom in down here, this is called the title block. It tells you the author, it tells you the date that you made. Um, I can tell you the title. So go ahead and put on the title. Call it some shapes. 
So give it a title. Uh, this project is a nice, sophisticated title. Actually, it's not done. Um, and, you know, it kind of fills it in that for you. We want to put down, you know, where this is from. If it's like a person who's in the school, you can make up a company. Um, and make it dead here. Okay, so that's your, that's your, that's your, um, that's your title block. Um, and then, um, well, other thing you can do, you know, so one of the things you can do one of these, you can just do one. But if you have multiple blocks, like I've got Hammer, I've got Pac-Man down here. If I click on this sheet, this little window right here, I can see, click on here. Um, and then this button right here says Insert Sheets. I can do another sheet. It's an insert sheet. And then you'll see I did sheet one and sheet two. So now I'll go to sheet one, I'll click on that, I'll go to sheet one, I'll go to sheet two, and I can begin again. Right? So I have to go hit my insert button, I can say insert view. Um, and then what part am I trying to get? So it's still on the path now, it's going to And it tells me what the fuck you want to do, so I can go do. And you can click, and again, go in the front view, and escape out of that tool, and then say project. And basically, you just repeat the steps again, getting the whole. Okay. Um, all right, so when you are all done, you're going to want to turn this in. To do that, you're going to make a PDF because this is what we the PDF system format that you can turn on Canvas. In fact, on Canvas, you have to turn on a PDF. So here's how you do it. You go to the try bar and you can say print and then print it. Um, the print options come up. And you see it's got one page, it's got two pages. And then you can just download it. And then once it downloads, uh, you can say save the Adobe Active, which is a PDF. And you go put that in Google Drive, find the Google Drive, find the design folder. And then I could say shapes work and drawing. And save. <clears throat> and now I should go turn it save. Okay. Um, so that's, that's it. Good luck. And